All right, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the July 7th, 2009 Board of Selectmen uh, meeting. Mr. Clerk, may we have the roll, please? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, all five selectmen are present, as is Town Administrator Mr. Sanjanette. Okay, the first order of business will be citizens' participation. Who's here to speak to the board this evening? Yeah, have a seat, introduce yourself, and speak directly into the mic. Good evening, uh, Chairman, board members, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stephen Baptiste. I'm from Onset. I live at 201 Onset Avenue. I've uh, been here for 69 years and 10 months. I've got uh, 18 and a half years on the police department, 12 and a half years as a police sergeant and an acting lieutenant one year. I've uh, operated the Peerview Restaurant for 29 years yesterday. Congratulations. And I'd like to thank you very much in person. I've sent a lot of it on the papers for the beautiful citation you guys <coughs> gave me when they recognized me on the 17th of January this past year. So thank you. It was You're very well. <clears throat> the other thing is I want to compliment the Wayham Police Department, uh, Chief Wallace, and the staff for the 4th of July uh, work that they did down in Onset, it was the best I've ever seen on there. And I feel that I'm qualified to, to make these statements. I understand they did an excellent job and uh, the fireworks went out, off without a hitch and um, we're grateful for that. I hope everybody enjoyed it and our, it was our pleasure to grant you, uh, give you that citation. It was well, it was well deserved. Thank you very much. Uh, the other problem is the parking problem down in Onset. Uh, my staff, I have them all park up at the public parking area when they come to work. I live upstairs and for the most part I end my night up and I'm parked out front. And I obey any rule, rules and regulations uh, while a police officer even after being a police officer. I've had no problems with anybody in this town in 69 years and 10 months. <clears throat> Last year it started. July, maybe, 1st of July, uh, checking my car, knowing that consciously I have to move it to another spot to comply. I walked out, it must have been about 10 minutes past 9, and I see uh, George Coleman, the crime watch head, in his cruiser, parked a few, double parked. Well, anyway, I got outside and he comes walking up to me and he says, uh, I says, George, I'm moving my car. He says, I've been trailing you this morning. So what do you mean you're trailing me? He said, I've been trailing you. So I, got, I took the ticket, and I did pay the $30 fine. Uh, as aggravated I, as I was, uh, like, and his big saying is, you're, you're not above the law, which I know I'm not above the law, and neither is he. Last Friday evening, or <coughs> afternoon, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, right on the button, I moved my car two spaces up to the front position. <coughs> I have a fish fry on Friday night. Figuring I'd come down at 4 o'clock and move it again. Well, one of my employees said, Steve, you've got a parking ticket on your car. This was issued at 327, which I'm going to contest and all that. Uh, my biggest problem is, you know, uh, as a supervisor, I've got, uh, I went to Northeast and I've taken courses in supervision. Uh, I know how to manage people. Uh, and, and I don't think this is my place to be saying this to you members here who appoint different people, and please don't take it as that. I'm just giving some input as to what I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've seen this man, uh, he's the most arrogant. Uh, he, he, I've never had any... Time now? Yeah, oh. wait, just tell us your issue and <laughs> well, we'll, we'll try and help you. This is what I'm getting at. <laughs> I said I was going to be calm, I'll be calm. But anyway, uh, uh, to watch him direct his finger at his subordinates who work for the crime watch on the streets of Onset, I don't think that's professional. And the other things, I, I've got so many friends, I've got Brother Masons who started with this crime watch program and just couldn't deal with this guy and they, have to, they left. I'm talking about, and, and I would strongly suggest if this board would like to have a hearing someday, uh, it's your conveniences, I know everybody's busy and all that. I know, because I, I hear a Coleman complaint every day in my restaurant. So okay, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, and, and I certainly won't stop you. Um, you. You certainly have the floor, and you can um, 
tell us whatever you, you'd like and, and <coughs> if there's some way we can help, we'll certainly uh, make every effort. Well, but uh, let me just explain. <clears throat> um, what we have done is we've met with Crime Watch, the board of directors. We've met with both the former chief and the current interim chief <clears throat> in a room with the board of directors by my count three times now and what we have done is we've um, ironed out <coughs> excuse me an agreement <clears throat> between the police and, and, and crime watch um, the issues that you're raising have been raised in that in that context um, he's not here to defend himself and that's why I, I, I I'd rather just stick to the issue and 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 we are aware uh, the Crime Watch Board is aware, the Wareham Police Department is aware that there have been um, friction and issues. And that was our intent as a board, was to resolve those, um, those issues. Because the board does believe, and the board members can speak for themselves, but I, I believe that the board is of the opinion that Crime Watch, as an organization, plays a vital role um, in the community. Um, it's something that we support something that we'll continue to support um, but if there are issues with individuals we'll certainly um, try and deal with those this is a is in fact a we <clears throat> a day-to-day -day operational issue between the town administrator and the and the chief um, my my suggestion would be that if you have a specific issue with a specific individual the best way to handle that, in my opinion, is to put that in writing and forward that to the town administrator and the interim police chief um, r rather than a, a public discussion about those issues. Um, and I do segregate the two issues, individual issues with a person and the function of Crime Watch generally in the community, which I think is a, uh, an important uh, supportive role. Um, but <clears throat> the agreement that was reached was very specific as to uh, their charge, responsibilities, where they are not responsible, uh, obviously, and uh, in that in that agreement, I think was um, well craft well crafted. Um, so, in any event, I'll, I'll let you finish whatever your statement was. Well, and what is the mission of the Crime Watch in Onset? It's not uh, any mission in Onset. A Crime Watch has a mission in Wareham, um, and the mission of Crime Watch is to op op operate in a supportive role to the Wareham Police Department. It's to um, provide coverage where the Wareham Police Department is not able to provide uh, personnel specifically for issuing tickets um, in the community. We're a summer community. We have um, uh, a senior work off program and those people have generally been assigned to our parking lots beach parking lots, the problem that, is, that has been created is that, unfortunately, people want to park in these lots uh, for no fee. Now, every beach community up and down the coast has parking for fees, and, and we provide services, and therefore fees are, uh, are um, a legitimate source of funding for the community to, to to provide maintenance and, and, and security and cleaning and so forth. So what has happened is those cars tend to start parking out in the neighborhoods, such as Onset Village, such as um, uh, in Little Harbor, in, 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 in the Swift Speech area, all throughout the neighborhood. The police are short-staffed as it is. They don't have the personnel, the time, the, the resources to, um, to provide full parking enforcement part of Crime Watch's function is to provide that. Obviously, their other function is to be eyes and ears on the street. Uh, and when there is an issue, they're to report that to the police department. So they do provide a vital role, and, uh, and I personally support them. If there is an individual issue, we can deal with that. And again, my advice is to put that in writing. Well, I just hope that it has some strength. I mean, I feel that I've been a good citizen in this town. I